Hi guys, welcome back to the Zuga Network. Today we're just going to do experiment. We're going to experiment a whole lot of things. I want to try something. I want to stretch this panel, where to see the maximum way we can push it to. So uh, I got this delivered to me. Fala Solar. The, you know, the the supplier says the quality is wonderful. So we want to test the panel to see if it, if it matches the, you know, the standard testing conditions that is being uh, on the back of the panel. Fala Solar is three fifty watts. Uh, so it's three fifty watts solar panel. So this is what we'll test. We'll first of all test. So we'll test it. I'll stress this panel and uh, the same supplier is supplying this one too. Joy Solar. Joy Solar 350 watts as well. So I want to compare these two panels, see how they do under the same circumstances, but it doesn't stop here. Come by the shoes. So I just bought all this. I want to connect it, connect the panel to it then. We use this iron, this electric iron. This electric iron is 1,100 watts. Two of this should actually give us 700 watts. That is what we want to stress, but this iron is 1,100 watts. So we'll connect it, so we'll test it, we'll force the spanner to see the maximum we can get from the spanner. And we do the same for this other panel. So that way, we'll tell you the result as we move so feel free to be part of it meanwhile the sun is very high today uh, from my weather forecast we are doing 29 degrees here in nigeria so let's see what we do we'll first this we'll open this i i pray i don't blow out anything but it's gonna be experimental you're gonna be part of it so let's do this Here. Positive, yeah. So, what do we have? Our VOC is 38.8, 38.9, 39. It's fluctuating. This is for file panel. Let's see what the sticker says. So while uh, the sun is very high, it's 39, but the VOC says uh, 43.2, but we're able to get 39 volts. Okay, so let's get the other panel. Okay. My multimeter, let's test the VOC. This is giving 33. This is the other panel, Joy Joy panel. So Joy panel is giving us 33.2. And uh, there's no shedding here. 33.1, 33.2 volts. What's the VOC on it? VOC is 40 and it's giving us 33.2 volts. That's fine. So now the most important thing is that I want to stress the spinals. I want to connect them in series, two of them, to get 700 watts. And we connect that system and force everything out of the spinal. To see the max we can get and we use electric iron to you know pull everything out of the spider let's see so right now two of them in series we are getting 76.5 volts 6.6 volt. This is nice. So this is the Fala panel. First 
solar panel. Okay. And I, I, like, I like it because we'll, we'll now do the connection, we'll connect, we'll set up. Now, I want to set up this, remove all the things from the box, set it up. It's a, uh, we use a Felicity 2.5 kVA inverter with an 80 amps charge controller, set it up, connect it, and pull everything we can pull from that solar panel and record and see what we have. So, we really need the battery because the inverter is not batteryless, so we need battery is a 24 volt inverter. So we've just got two batteries for this test. Two Amaron Quanta batteries. And uh, okay, so these are the terminals. So to connect the batteries in series, we need a uh, positive to negative. So I'm getting my wrench. Let's tighten it up. We have 24 volt. So, so everything is temporary, so we'll definitely return it in the pack and use it in the next site. Let's get the charge controller out. Beautiful. Let's see what we get out of that panel. I'm so eager to see if we can draw exactly 700 watts. So, this is the charge controller we use. It supports uh, 24 volts, 48 volts, and 12 volts. The big boy, the inverter itself. We'll power our electric iron to the output of the inverter. So now we are connecting the output of the inverter to the extension socket where we'll power the electric iron to drag everything we can drag from the solar panel over there. So, okay, that done. So, next thing is to connect the charge controller and the inverter, connect, hook everything to the battery, and achieve. <laughs> it's been installed in the house so this is a full setup so now we have a 2.5 kVA inverter setup temporarily so with a controller that will drag and see what we can get remember we're testing this thing we are putting 1100 watts electric iron on this <laughs> whatever happens we're just having fun so thumbs up So we have set up our inverter, 2.5, and we have laid our cables to the panels there. So let me turn on the inverter to, wow, <laughs> you can see it's on now. And we have light there. Okay. And uh, one or two settings. Let me see. Let's put it on the right battery. Let's set the laid acid battery. Okay, user battery, so we'll be on the same lithium. Okay, with this, we are good. So now it is 2 p.m., the sun has gone down small, so we'll just do the setup and wait for the test. Uh, I hope this electric iron will not be so hard on the inverter because the aim is for us to pull what we can pull from the solar panel. So put the solar panel, each of them. Remember, we are testing Fala panel and we're trying to stress it out. Then we'll now put this set of uh, joy panel. All of them are 350 watts. We'll now put them back and see what we have. So we'll allow each of them to connect to the controller for 20, 20 minutes and we'll monitor it and we'll give you all the details.
Yeah, this is good. Let me try blocking the electric iron. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Ah, hope we are safe. <laughs> okay, let me turn down the thermostat very well first. Foo, 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 foo. Okay. One, two, go. It's working. <laughs> The fan of the inverter is speaking, so you, you can hear the fan. So it means it has heavy load. Let's see. I'm just risking everything. <laughs> Remember, the panels are not connected yet. Pretty hot. Let's see the load on the inverter. Forty-three percent. Wow okay so off it for now allow the inverter rest <laughs> okay so um waiting for the sun to come out so let's go hook the first solar panel so this charge controller doesn't come up for the first time until solar input is detected that's when it will come up and you set it and you set the battery and will actually be charging this battery so each panel has 20 minutes to do its work we'll test everything we'll pray that the weather remains the same so it will be fair for both panels but right now i want to hook up the line now then we'll come back we're just risking everything like i said today we're just having fun let's see So I have the same wires available, but I've labeled. So this is the negative, this is the positive. So let's go ahead and hook them. So our charge controller is up, as you can see. Let me set it. Let me set the type of battery we're using. AGM. Okay. That's virtually fine. So the charge controller is charging. Give it some time. And our battery is going off. It's charging. So right now we are getting 8 amps. 226 watts we are supposed to get 700 350 each panel two of them connected in series we are looking at 700 but we use the electric iron now to see the maximum of what we can drain but right now the sun is a little bit low but let's try it now and when the sun increases we'll try it again yeah so right now i'll hit the electric iron yeah, the iron just sets in. So let's see. Yeah, okay. 61 volts, 10 amps, 250 watts, 243 watts. The battery is dropping and we're having 255. The iron is getting hot, the battery is dropping. So I'll turn off the iron. I think we might need to tilt it to the position of the sun okay i just changed the direction and we are having 300 watts to be very fair and i'm starting the electric iron again getting pretty hot. 